up, Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and today we're gonna start working with tracks in Logic. By the end of this session, you'll be able to import tracks using the file browser and understand how Smart Tempo works. Lot to cover, but let's get after it. So one of the advanced tools that you get with Show Advanced Tools Enabled in Preferences is the file browser. And by the way, if you have not enabled preferences uh, to have advanced tools on, you just want to go to Logic Pro in the toolbar, head to preferences, and then select advanced tools. You want to make sure this box is checked. You definitely want those advanced tools on because you get all of the good stuff in Logic when that's turned on. Okay. But one of the advanced tools that you get uh, is the file browser. And in the file browser, you get access to all of the different files that are on your computer. So whenever you download tracks from Loop Community, Logic has direct access to all of those files. Uh, and to get there, all we have to do is press the letter F. Now, F, or consequently, you can also click on this browser's icon here in the top right-hand corner. Um, and for me, all of my files, they're inside of Drive 2, inside of my church folder, inside of my backtracks folder. And you might be thinking, man, that's a really long way to get to that folder. And you're right. In fact, one thing you can do is to right click and bookmark that folder, and it'll show up in the collection of bookmarked folders over here. Now, I've gone ahead and bookmarked some folders for us to work with. And for the remainder of these videos, we'll be working with my worship director's EP songs, Patrick Mayberry's uh, Joy. And so there's a bunch of songs here. These are all available on Loop Community. Patrick is a phenomenal songwriter. He's a phenomenal producer. And definitely download these tracks on Loop Community and play them at your church because they are fun. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start with uh, Joy of the Lord. And if I want to import these files into Logic, pretty simple. You can click and drag over all of them and just drag them right inside of the window. Now, uh, you can see that as I drag it, Logic is going to tell me where they're going to land. And so I want them to land at 1111. It'll ask me if I want to create new tracks. Sure. And you can see it's now gone ahead and put all of those tracks inside of my project. Okay. So we've still got some work to do if we want to use these tracks in Prime or in Main Stage uh, or even inside of a set in Logic. And the first thing that we need to do is to match Logic's project tempo with these audio files. If I were to play this track right now, I happen to know that this song actually doesn't play at 120 beats per minute. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable the click and I'm going to press play and you're going to hear that the project tempo does not play at the same time as these files. So here we go. Yeah, you can kind of hear that the click plays a little bit faster than the actual song itself. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and change the click uh, to the song BPM. I happen to know that the song's at 114, and so if you already know what the tempo of the song is, you can just go right up here to the top in the LCD display and type it in. And so now when we do that, we're going to go ahead and press play, and you'll hear that these are now synced up. So we've now kind of synced up our tempo and we've synced up our files to the same project. Now, if you didn't know the tempo of the song, there's a few different ways that you can go ahead and have Logic analyze the song for you and set up the, the project tempo to the right tempo of the song. Um, I'm gonna reset this back to 120 beats per minute. That was when we were not in sync. And we can actually tell Logic to analyze one of our files. So I'm going to look at the drums over here. It's our most rhythmic file. Uh, it's our most rhythmic stem. And this will be a good candidate for us to actually do smart tempo. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to go down to where it says tempo. And then I'm just going to say adapt project tempo to region tempo. Logic will then read this audio file, determine its tempo, and switch the project tempo to that audio file's tempo. Great. And you can see that now up here at the top, it's changed to 114 beats per minute. Smart Tempo is a really great new feature inside of Logic. Okay. Well, let's explore some of the other Smart Tempo options that we have inside of Logic. 
every project that you work on has its own set of project settings. And so I'm going to set some up right now. I'm actually going to start over again with the same file. Let me get rid of this entire file. Let me get rid of these tracks. By the way, you can kind of shift click on tracks to select a group of tracks and press delete if you're trying to get rid of them. So I'm going to set up some project tempo settings. And you can see that right now, the smart tempo settings in Logic is set to keep. We'll talk about some of these different settings, but I'm going to go ahead and go to smart tempo project settings. And when I click that, it's going to open up my smart tempo project settings. And something to note is that whatever it is that you select right here um, is actually going to update inside of the LCD control. So whether it's adapt or auto mode or keep. Uh, and the other setting that I'm going to set is setting imported audio files to on and align bars. And what this is going to do is that it's going to enable us to basically flex or recalculate the tempo of the file on every bar. Uh, it's kind of like in other digital audio workstations. It's kind of like in Ableton where it says warp and warp from a particular location. This is Logic's way of handling it. It'll actually flex from each bar. Uh, if you don't want it to do it from each bar, you can set it to on. And if you want it to be more granular, so say you've got a file that changes tempo over time, then you probably want to say on and align bars and beats. But I find that on and align bars is a pretty solid setting. I also want to make sure that we don't trim the start of new regions because the silence at the beginning of some of the tracks are really important and you definitely don't want to knock your tracks out of sync by removing the silence at the beginning of some of the tracks that you're working with. Okay, so let's try this again. So if I were to drag all of these files in to Logic, Logic's actually going to ignore the analysis process. So we got to work with uh, Smart Tempo one track at a time. So I'm actually going to reset the tempo to something like 132. I know that the track's not at 132, but I'm going to go ahead and drag one of these files in right to the beginning. And what's going to happen is that Logic will actually tell if there's a uh, tempo information attached to the file. So I'll go ahead and say, don't import. Great. And so what's happened now is that this file is going to play at the tempo that we've decided to keep. So let's hear it back real quick. Great. And that means that any other file that we drag in will then kind of be kept at the project tempo. So if I grab the synth, for example, and drag that in, great. What's great with this is that if I did want to switch it back to 114, the original tempo, then Logic's not going to complain. It'll go ahead and set me back to uh, the original project tempo. Now let's kind of explore some of these other settings. So there's adapt in here and what adapt is going to do, you can see that it's opened up global tracks for tempo. And right now we've set the tempo here, but if I were to drag anything into this orange area over here, the project would adapt, but adapt actually means adapt to any new file. So if I wanted to add a different click, for example, maybe I wanted to recycle it from a different project altogether, then I can do that. Let me go to my bookmarks. I've got a click here that's at 132 beats per minute. And if I drag that in, watch what happens to our project tempo. Uh, it'll convert it if it's a different sample rate. Logic can work with multiple sample rates, which is great. And then it'll analyze it. And you can see that with ADAPT, now the latest audio file that we've dragged in has changed the project tempo. So ADAPT will adapt to whatever the latest project file it is that you want to work with. So if you're looking at kind of playing a song at a different tempo, you can use a tempo from a different song and have the rest of your tracks play along to that new tempo with ADAPT. Now, uh, probably what we're going to be working with from here on out is going to be auto. And what auto does is that it kind of switches back and forth between adapt and keep. So um, let's do this one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. And so this is what auto does. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing where I'll go ahead and grab that song. I'll just grab the drums. Great. You can see it's already changed it to 114. 
And if I grab that same click, remember the last time we dragged this in, uh, adapt changed to uh, the latest click, but since I'm in auto and I've already set logic to 114 beats per minute, when I drag this file in, it'll do its sample rate conversion, it'll do its file analysis, and because we're in auto, we've set the tempo at 114, and then we've automatically switched to keep now, and so that click is going to play at 114 beats per minute. Great. Cool. So, so that's kind of our different smart tempo settings. We've got auto, which basically looks at incoming analysis files and switches the tempo to whatever it is. Um, we've got adapt, which will change the tempo based on whatever the last track it is that you've dragged in. And we've got keep, which basically lets you as the producer keep the tempo throughout your project. Great. So that's how you import files and that's how you work with smart tempo. In the next video, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and keep using uh, Smart Tempo. We're going to understand flex and we're going to uh, be able to change our keys and tempos of our tracks.